central Nairobi. The start of the working week. Three years ago, amid this bustle, Trushar Ketia spotted a business opportunity and it turned him into a millionaire. We have a captive audience here. You've got people waiting for the buses. You've got the guys getting onto the buses and seeing the ads inside the buses, outside the buses, at eye level. There's no escape. There is, that's the most important thing. You can't turn it off, you can't switch it off. You have to see it. Trushar is the head of the Tria group. The difference. You see the ones, the blue ones, which... And while advertising on Nairobi's buses is nothing new, his idea was to offer clients a one-stop shop from concept and design, printing to pasting. And we needed to be disruptive. So rather than starting by being another me to in the industry, I said, let's find a specific niche to aim for. And that's what we did with Tria. The young Kenyan started with just his savings and a laptop. After months of rejection, he cut his first deal and his business was launched. The most fascinating thing was there was no offices, there was no one employed. It was me and my PowerPoint on my laptop and you just go in and pitch amazingly well to this guy and say, look, I'm about to change the advertising industry and you should be the first ones to do it. And that was all it took. Today, Tria Group employs 15 people and Trushar continues to hustle. Always on the move, always hands-on. I have to go and see the clients at their site. You have to close deals and convince people face to face. And anyway, that's where the relationship aspect, the fun bit. Those relationships are critical for his latest venture. Leveraging the success of Tria, he's launched a chain of supermarkets. It's the same people I'm talking to on the advertising side. And they're the same people now who are keeping their products in my stores. So it's like we're married to each other. Two successful brands and a growing business empire. It means double the workload for Trushar. I managed to track him down again at the Nairobi bus depot. Still working, still hands-on. It's now nearly 10 o'clock at night. Most people are done with their working day. You're still at it. Yeah, I mean, for me, it's the passion that keeps me going. Because you see your own work end to end. And that's the most important thing, right? It's dedication. Dedication for an entrepreneur who went from one laptop to businesses that make over $10 million a year, it's the secret to startup success. Amir Daftari, CNN, Nairobi.